Hey everybody, how's it going? It's a Daily Shooter, and today we're going to be taking a look at some level 3 plus body armor from Spartan Armor Systems. I've got their level 3 plus front and back plates as well as side plates, so let's go ahead and check it out. Now, before I take this body armor off and put it on the table, I want to mention that there's not going to be any shooting in this video, and that's because this is my personal body armor, and I've already done several tests on AR-550 steel, and I can tell you that it is extremely strong and extremely capable as body armor. It's stronger than AR-500 steel, it's multi-threat tested, it's multi-shot tested, it is excellent, excellent steel for armor, and the Spartan Armor Systems is one of the better brands on the market, so I definitely trust this, as you can see, with my life already. So, great armor, we're going to go ahead and take this off now, put it on the table, and show you guys the package so you know what you're getting when you were to purchase something like this, because I know a lot of the body armor that I've reviewed in the past is up there, even in the thousands of dollars, and it's just well out of a lot of people's reach. This right now on Optics Planet is going for $269, and then if you use the discount code TDS5, it'll bring it down just over $250. Bucks. So $250 bucks with front, back, and side plates with the carrier, I think this is a really good deal. So let's go to the table and check it out. Okay, so here's the body armor as it sits with everything installed. You can see that we have a cummerbund that wraps around. It has uh, Velcro panels on it. These Velcro panels each have a handle that allow you to grab onto it and pull it from around the actual front plate carrier itself. Now, the cummerbund actually wraps right underneath this panel right here, which pulls up with this uh, uh, little tab right here. So it pulls up. You have a uh, hook and loop base right here. The cummerbund comes around, and then you size it to whatever fits you right, and then you go ahead and lock that down again in whatever size fits your body best, and then you would bring this panel down like that, and that's how the whole thing sets up. Open up that panel, grab each one, you pull that right off, and you're good to go. Now, the body armor itself actually sits in another compartment that is in the back right here, and all you have to do is basically just pull away that hook and loop, which is extremely extremely strong there's some more hook and loop on the inside and see if i can turn this over more hook and loop on the inside and what you want to do is you want to pull that away and that allows you to easily access the armor itself grab the body armor pull that out and there is our front plate right there now you access the side panels by going to the inside of the cummerbund pull up some more hook and loop again there is a uh, as you can see another pocket inside right here more hook and loop and this flap that folds open Inside is where you're going to find your side panel. This is a six by six side panel. And there is your side panel right there with your front panel right here. Now, before we take a closer look at the steel and go over some of the extra features of the plate carrier itself, I want to address a question that I get every single time I review body armor, and that's, is it heavy? And the answer is yes, steel body armor, all steel body armor is heavy. And when you add things like side plates and so forth, uh, it gets even heavier. So if you are somebody who is small framed, you can't take the weight for whatever reason. If you are somebody with a disability and adding extra weight to your body might be painful or hard for you, then you might want to consider that. This is a steel body armor, AR550, and yes, it is heavy. Um, it is actually a little bit lighter in this specific cut than other body armor cuts that are on the market. So if you're looking to shave just a little bit of weight over, let's say something like this, which is a large shooter's cut, uh, this is actually heavier than this plate because as you can see right here, this is a swimmer's cut. So that is one way to reduce weight. But uh, yeah, keep that in mind. It is going to add some weight to your overall body and, and your package, including you know your weapons and stuff like that that you might be carrying with this, and also any magazines or attachments that you might put on the front. Now, if weight is an issue for you, then you might want to consider going to a composite body armor. However, you might want to keep in mind that composite body armor just for one single plate can run up to four times the cost of this entire package right here for just one composite body armor panel. So it is quite a bit more expensive to go with something a little bit more lightweight. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and take a look at the steel right here. We're gonna flip this over so you guys can read the back panel on the steel. You can see that this is a 10 by, uh, 10 by 12 cut. This is what they're uh, calling level three plus. Now, level three plus when you see that is not an NIJ rating. Uh, the National Institute of Justice, which is, uh, which are the people that conduct the tests that give body armor its uh, rating and its level rating, 
they do not have a plus. They either rate it level three, level four, level three A, level two A, and so forth. They don't do anything in plus. However, this states that the company has done their own testing and that they believe that it's even stronger than the, the uh, NIJ's testing because NIJ is very specific, controlled environment, and they could do a little bit more at the company. And so this is a multi-thread level plate that is above NIJ standards for a standard level three body armor. Now, since we're reviewing this particular body armor and this body armor package, I wanna show you guys a little bit more information that's on the label here. I know you can read for yourself, but I wanna kinda of explain it to you because it could be important to your purchase. And sometimes they don't put this stuff on the website. So you can see here that on the back of your plate, it's gonna show where it was manufactured and the date that it was manufactured. The date that it was manufactured is important because you have a uh, warranty time period. This one is five years. And believe it or not, these body armor plates actually have a shelf life. This one has a shelf life of 20 years. Now, this thing's going to last your lifetime. As long as you take care of it, it's going to last forever. But they put a 20-year shelf life on there because if for some reason it gets wet, if something gets underneath the coating, if you don't take good care of it, it is possible for metal to corrode over time. So if the metal degrades, it may not be as viable of a you know, body armor solution as it was the first five years that you owned it or 20 years. So that's something to keep in mind that it has a 20 year shelf life on it. And this stands for the side panels as well. This is something you might not see on the website. The uh, manufacture date on yours obviously is gonna be different. Nonetheless, we still have uh, Tucson, Arizona. We have the date and we have our information as far as the warranty and the shelf life go. And again, this is a six by six Spartan Armor level three plus AR550 panel. So even though you don't get this information on the website, I still wanted to show it to you guys because I, I believe it's important to your purchase. Now, when you go to Optics Planet's website and you search Spartan Armor Systems, you're going to see this package come up. Uh, on the thumbnail, I believe they have the Shooter's Cut, uh, which is basically the same exact material, but in a more square cut. So it comes up a little bit higher right here. It's more squared off. And instead of having these cutouts on the bottom, it comes all the way around and it's rounded on the sides. So there is more material and it does cover more area but I find that the swimmer's cut just allows me a little bit better ease of movement, especially when I'm shooting a pistol and I need to bring both arms in front of me. This cut right here allows me to bring both arms forward and still be able to shoot and just, you know, better ease of movement overall with this particular swimmer's cut. When you're there, you're gonna see that they have the uh, coyote tan. They also have black and other colors that you'll be able to get in the carrier itself. And then again, you'll be able to choose whether or not you want uh, the swimmer's cut or the shooter's cut. Now, another option that's important to talk about if you're looking at body armor is the buildup. The buildup is more than just protection for the steel itself. This is actually an anti-spalling coating. Spalling is all of the material that comes off of the armor once it's been struck. So you have a bullet, that bullet's hitting the material, uh, hitting the body armor itself, and that material basically just flowers out into all directions, and it's still moving extremely fast, in some cases, you know, thousands of feet per second, and that could do extreme damage, especially if it comes up towards your face and it hits any of your major arteries, obviously that could take you out of the fight. So having a coating on there is important, not just for the steel itself, you can choose different buildups. Different buildups could cost different money, so make sure you check on that. But you can choose thicker buildups so you get more spalling protection. And you can choose a lighter buildup. Lighter buildups typically cost a little bit less, but you get less of that spalling protection. So uh, as the bullet hits, it'll start wearing away at the thin stuff a little bit more, where you can take multiple hits with a thicker buildup coating before the spalling actually starts to degrade around the sides of the plate. Now, there's a couple other features I wanna show you real quick about the carrier itself. So we still have one plate in there and one plate in the rear. The cummerbund actually slides through this uh, panel in the back right here, where there is hook and loop on the inside that keeps the cummerbund from going left to right. So it's not gonna move while it's on your body. It's being held in the back right here. Another great thing is this thing has a nice size drag handle. So if for some reason you do get injured or whatever the case is, somebody can grab this and they can pull you with this drag handle. As you can see, we have a uh, molly webbing on the back so you can attach whatever you need to. You can put some type of uh, hydration bladder or pouch, some type of, you know, um, I, I guess you can put whatever you want back there, but anything that might be necessary for you to reach might not be the best thing to put on the back. So for me, I just like to put some type of pouch or hydration bladder on the back. As you can see, there is also plenty of molly webbing on the sides of the cummerbund here. So if you want to add extra magazines, extra pouches, if you want to put um, uh, even your medical kit or something like that, you can lash your med kit to the side of the cummerbund right there. Keep in mind that it is going to be rigid where the body armor is, okay? When we flip this thing over, 
I want to mention that there is also, well, I want to mess. Uh, I also want to mention that there is hook and loop on the top in the front as well. And you also have some extra molly webbing here that you can use to attach again, your magazines or any other, you know, accessories that you feel. Now here we have the shoulder straps. These are actually really comfortable shoulder straps. I got to say, uh, these are probably some of the more comfortable ones that I've ever used. So basically what you do is you just take off more hook and loop, open that up and you can see that it is adjustable through more hook and loop under there. So you just pull that up, make your adjustment, bring it back down. And then this is just a cover that provides you uh, with a little bit of cushion. So you can see that there's some cushion that's been built in right there. Take that, bring it back down and you're good to go. And that actually has a little bit of molly on it too. That molly right there would probably be good to run your uh, hydration hose through. Anyway, this is a pretty cool package and you just can't beat the price. I know that a lot of the stuff that I've re reviewed in the past has been very expensive and uh, there's been quite a few people who have pointed that out to me. And I apologize, I try and review everything from the high end stuff to the low end stuff so you can see what it's all about. And I think this is some of the more affordable stuff and it's definitely gonna do the job. So anyway, take a look at it. Use the discount code TDS5. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, have a great day.